Welcome again, friends. Uh, we are talking about the brush up for biochemistry part for CSI NET exam. And this video is going to be again about lipids. I mean, uh, other type of lipids like, you know, complicated lipids like sphingolipids. And also it's about cholesterol and how they work together uh, and some different functionality. So lipids 2 video. Now, in this case, we want to know about uh, phosphoglycerides because that are going to be some very common lipids that we know of. And if you, look at, if you look at the structure of phosphoglycerides, what we can find is that we have a glycerol backbone, which is three carbon backbone. We all know that. And in that backbone, we having uh, we are having attachment of fatty acids because that's that's all uh, that's all about lipids because you know fatty acids are small carbon I mean, hydrocarbon chain and those chains will be attached with glycerol and the, finally we have a phosphate attached with alcohol in this position to give us phosphoglycerides and all these phosphoglycerides there you can see bonds between the fatty acids and glycerol and there is also a bond between phosphate and alcohol the bond between phosphate and alcohol is termed as phosphoester bond the bond between fatty acid and glycerol is termed as ester bond that's the difference now if you come here the next part is that uh, sphingolipids. You know, sphingolipids are uh, very common in certain cases like glycerol sphingolipids, I mean, uh, globocytes, and so on. So you can see the sphingolipids is called also glycosphingolipids, and the composition of glycosphingolipids are sphing. Uh, I mean, examples are sphingomyelin, cerebrosides, globocytes. So these are the examples for gly uh, glycosphingolipids. And and a very important question that I've seen many times that Neiman Pick uh, disease. Uh, sphingomyelin is a type of sphingolipid in body. The concentration of sphingomyelin increases in Sneeman pig disease. Now, if you look at here, the gangliosides, the gangliosides are not a part of sphingolipids, remind you. Gangliosides is different, and the gangliosides contains ceramide, some sugar, and sialic acid. Now, sugar can be glucose or galactose along with salic acid now another very important thing about this part is that uh, you can know that uh, the I, mean, I forget to mention it earlier that just came into our mind that uh, the blood group or abo group system is depending upon the type of i mean glycoproteins that are present the code that is present onto the surface of our rbc uh, so so different sugar moieties are present that's why different groups start to occur now if we look at here Prostaglandin is a very important uh, component and the prostaglandin is produced from arachidonic acid. So precursor for prostaglandin is arachidonic acid. Similarly, if you look at the other precursors uh, of lipid that will be good, I haven't mentioned them here. Now another thing is cholesterol. Cholesterol found to be a, one of the very very important uh, fat uh, of our body because cholesterol is a very important ingredient of our cell membrane. Why? Because cholesterol actually keeps the membrane fluid. So it helps in the membrane fluidity and that is very very important guys. Now uh, cholesterol uh, actually produces many different types of uh, uh, lipids and fat in our body. For example, you know dihydroxycholecalciferol. Calciferol, you know, calciferol, cholecalciferol, they are vi vi vitamin substances, very, very important. And testosterone, uh, glycocholic acid, and these are the different types of uh, fatty acids and fats that are being produced from cholesterol as a precursor molecule. Similarly, uh, bile salts can be also produced uh, from cholesterol. Vitamin D is synthesized due to the presence of cholesterol in skin, exposure to sunlight, UV especially. And if you look at here, what are bile salts? You know, bile salts are amphipathic detergent-like molecules produced from cholesterol. And the example of bile salts are bilirubin, bilirubin, lecithin, and all these things. Now, those bile salts that we usually know, those bile salts are uh, produced and, and they are kind of having buffering like activity due to the detergent type feature because they're amphipathic in nature that's why they act uh, as a buffering molecule there so that's it thank you